Just behind me, you're looking at 70 years of a nation's history rolling past the military might of China on full display as they celebrate National Day, marking seven decades since the founding of Communist China. It's brought thousands of invited guests to Tiananmen Square, where we are. This is a heavily credentialed area. A lot of the Chinese residents who live in Beijing are watching from their own homes and partaking as a family gathering. But this is where their eyes are, and they're focused on their nation displaying everything that it has to offer. No matter what you think of China, you cannot deny the progress that has been seen here over the past 70 years, technologically as well as militarily. This is a country that has greatly improved and improved the lives of its people. And that's something that they stress as far as elimination or, in their words, their anticipated and hoped for elimination of poverty. They say they have reduced the number of people living in poverty by some 850 million. And then, of course, the technology that we're seeing on display here. This is something that they are trying to show the world to demonstrate that they are indeed a global player. Now, when they show this, one might think you see military might and it's a threatening move. They say just the opposite. This is to reassure the world that they are the safeguarders of peace and stability. That is their anticipation in showing off the many, many items behind me that have just been rolling past. And, and you get a feel for the emotion here for some of the people who are truly taking in this patriotic moment. It is for them a day to celebrate. And that is not necessarily the feeling in other parts of the world. Certainly China is dealing with a lot globally, the unrest in Hong Kong for one. They're also dealing with continued issues with uh, the U.S. trade war, the tensions and the ongoing uh, problems with trying to figure out how exactly they'll come to a deal there. That has taken a hit on the economy here. The people have felt it. And that is something President Xi Jinping has tried to push past. And in his speech today, he has assured the people that going forward, there will be a hard work ethic. Yes, of course, struggle has been something that he's mentioned several times, but ultimately he sees China continuing on its path of progress. David Colbert, CNN, Beijing.